It's coffee time! I'm about to head out to friend zone. Just got done with a stream. It went very well. It was very short, but got to show off the shirts that we made the last couple of days and played some Hearthstone and made people very angry, which is my favorite thing in the world. Also, I'm just enjoying the blessed silence right now because the entire day so far, at least the parts of the day that I've been here, which is morning before leaving for Daily Bite and morning after getting back from Daily Bite, there's been a very loud jackhammer right outside of my window. We got little flyers that were like, hey, we're gonna be doing some construction for your safety. And I was like, okay, cool. Man, it's been annoying. Cause it's the same sound, you know, just that, that sound when it goes on for a really long time, it doesn't become white noise for me. It just continues to be more and more awful. It's like, why? But they did fix our AC. Remind yourself of the good things. They did fix our AC. That was great. And it's Friday. And tomorrow we're getting the rest of the stuff out of the apartment, so that'll finally just be done. And I'll be free. I'll be free of all of that. So that'll be wonderful. I'm gonna try and see if we can get a couple of friends to come and help us out with it. Cause Sam, my sweet Sam, my sweet baby Sam, Sam was like, so this isn't gonna really take all that long, is it? I mean, it's just like one more car's worth of stuff. And I was like, <laughs> mm, get the feeling it's, it's more than that. He was like, oh, okay. Oh, there it is, it's back. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's so loud for me though. Every now and then something's really loud for me and I'm like, ah, that noise, you know, that thingy, that thingy that's happening right now and no one can hear it unless it's a siren. You guys can typically hear sirens, but this, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is about it that just grates on me. It reminds me of the sound that tattoo guns make, but like if somebody had a giant tattoo gun. Cause like tattoo guns are, they're basically like a gun with a little, like a tiny, tiny needle, right? And it just like, like just, just gets into your skin. But it makes, it makes a little like noise. This sounds like if I was Jack and the Beanstalk and I climbed up the Beanstalk and then I snuck into somebody's house, but it turns out it wasn't somebody's house. It was actually a giant's tattoo parlor. That's what tattoo guns up the beanstalk would sound like. Oh my gosh, you guys. Did you know that they're making an Into the Woods movie? I was losing it. What movie did we see? It was during our double feature before we left. Oh man. I can't remember which movie it was, but there was a preview for Into the Woods the movie and I was losing it. I was like leeching on to Jesse and leeching on to Sam and everybody was like, we don't care about this the way you care about this, please stop. And I was like, ah! It's like, you don't understand. This is one of my favorite musicals of all time. They're turning it into a movie. What if they ruin it? Like, I started on a rant on the way home. I was like, what if Little Red Riding Hood is skinny? Sam was like, what do you mean? I was like, she can't be skinny. Like, in the story of Little Red Riding Hood, she, like, I mean, in Into the Woods, she can't be skinny. You don't understand. Like, if you had read the script, you'd know that she can't be skinny because it ruins all of the songs. Like, what if they, what if they still have a skinny girl play her? And he was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you right now. And I was like, they better, they better not. They better not. Because the first time that I read Into the Woods, I eventually saw the movie. I still have yet to see it on stage, actually. But the first time that I read Into the Woods, I was like, man, Red would be such a fun part to play. Like she gets great songs. She gets great interactions and good character development. It's like she would be an awesome character to play. But I knew that I could never play her. Like I just don't, I don't have the right build for her. And when I saw the movie, I was like, she is so adorable. She's like the perfect, you know, just like, oh, she was just perfect for it. And now seeing the preview for the movie, I was like, who is this Little Red Riding Hood? She's not my Little Red Riding Hood. I got so defensive. <laughs> I was like, so 
I really hope that they don't mess that up. I would look it up right now, but I'll get upset. If I look it up and it's not what I'm imagining, I'm gonna just like feel too many feelings and then... Uh. That sound is gonna drive me absolutely insane. It probably already has. This whole video up till now, I actually haven't been talking. Sometimes I worry about that. Is that weird? Sometimes I worry Okay, I'm trying to think of how to explain this where I won't sound like an actual crazy person. So sometimes I worry once I'm done with a video, right? Once I'm done with coffee time. Sometimes when I'm importing it onto my computer, I think to myself, what if for part of that video I blacked out and said completely different things than I remember saying? <laughs> it's a little bit similar to, I don't know how many of you do this, I legitimately worried for a while that I was um, very OCD. I'm not. I think that this is kind of a common thing to do. Maybe it's not. But I will check my bag like two or three times to make sure my keys are there. Like, I'll get out of the car and I have such a fear of locking the keys in the car because I've done that so many times that now when I'm about to close the door, I'll look in my purse. I'll see the keys there. I'll close the purse. I'll close the door a little bit more. I'll look at my purse to make sure the keys are there, and then I'll shut the door, and then a final time I'll be like, keys? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, in my mind, I know the keys are there, right? But I still just, like, compulsively, I'm like, they're there, okay. No, they're there. They're there. It's fine. I feel that, I feel like it's, it's slightly connected to, like, this weird, this weird fear that I have that I've just, like, zoned out and talked about something else, right? Like, one day I'm gonna upload a video and I'll be like, that was a great video where I talked about cats and food, like usual. And instead, it will be an entire video of me talking about boobs. And everybody will be like, wow, this is quite racy for a coffee time. I'll be like, I don't remember ever talking about boobs. And then I'll question everything about my life. <laughs> oh. Yep. <laughs> It's the jackhammer! The jackhammer is making me crazy! You don't understand. Guys, some, some deep stuff going on right here. Some deep coffee time action happening right now. Okay, I'm gonna go to friend zone. <laughs> gonna stop this video early because it's not gonna. It can only go down from here, right? It can only just like continue to go this way where I'm like, what about? What about? What about? What about? And then it's gonna just. But I hope you guys had an amazing day and an amazing Friday, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I don't know.